Right, hello everybody. Welcome to, I guess, a, a quick tutorial video. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to do our instant air SPD, right? We see this move here. People pull that off all the time. Oops, I don't want that on. And how, how do we do that? How do people do it where you're that low to the ground? That was not right. So that you can get this like minimal hop air SPD sort of thing. And so the trick is to call is called tiger kneeing. So you're gonna hear some of the top players maybe, maybe you've heard Justin Wong say this in some of his videos, talk about tire, tiger kneeing something. So to tiger knee something is essentially to do the regular motion control for that move and then to finish in the jump position before you do your button press. So in like Street Fighter V, this was really important for Cammy to have her instant dive kick sort of thing. And it's the idea of going, let's say, down back and then ending up forward. And then as you press up forward, you'd be pressing kick to kind of get that tiger knee motion to do it immediately. It's a similar thing with Geef's Air SPD. Now, the way it works for Geef's Air SPD is, and Capcom absolutely did this by design, his standing SPD is gonna be done with punches. We know that. So if I'm up here and I do the 360 and I hit punch, I'm gonna get the standing SPD. They decide to make his air SPD with kicks, however. So I have to push my kick in the air to get my air SPD. This is important. And the reason that's important is to get this instant air SPD, that's not the one, but you're gonna essentially do a regular standing SPD, delay a tenth of a second, and then press your kick button. What this is going to do is the moment Geef leaves the ground, you're gonna get that air SPD. Right? So you're gonna be minuscule, like minusculely off the ground just by doing your standard walk-up SPD motion. Right? So that's how that's done. You're just pretty much doing your standard walk-up SPD where you're gonna walk forward, push the punch button with the 360. Instead, you're gonna do it with kick, and you're gonna press the kick button and you're gonna get it three feet off the ground. I start by holding forward or six, and then I do my full rotation to six again. Why is this important? Well, because again, it leads to geese coolest combo in my opinion, which is this awesome wall splat combo that's going to take up all your meter, but you're going to get this damage, you're going to get that finish, and it looks really awesome. Again, just a quick little video in case you weren't sure what to do, just do a regular SP. Okay, this is for all the casuals out there who might not know how to do this so close to the ground and they're trying to jump and then do it and they're getting caught doing it that high up in the air. And you'll never be able to do all of these combos if you're trying to do it that way. So just from forward, circle to forward, delay half a second and hit kick. I should mention the reason you want to delay half a second is if you do it too quickly, you can end up getting that throw. So it's going to read uh, this input here instead because you don't delay long enough and you're going to try and throw the guy on the ground. So make sure you do that full rotation. You can delay it a little bit because again, if you jump slightly, that's fine because you're still just going to catch it and do it within the jump frame. I can delay it even longer. Look, I'm just going to do one circle, delay as long as I can, and I'm still doing it in the air. So, the best way to do it, jump with the full circle, and then you can just, whenever you want it in the air, press your kick button. If you want to do it quickly in the air, just full circle, quickly. Okay, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully it works. Hopefully you're enjoying playing Geef as much as I am. And if not, hopefully you're enjoying playing Street Fighter VI as much as I am, because the game is fantastic. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy!